Um, no, now we're back with news for our news this week. Um, two Indiana men, including a United States Postal Service worker, were sentenced in an identity theft and fraud scheme that stole a quarter of a million dollars from more than 50 people. Um, these two guys were operating um, in Indianapolis, um, and they were Indianapolis residents, and they were sentenced to a federal prison on charges of conspiracy to commit bank fraud and theft of stolen mail, which is illegal to steal other people's mail anyway, but you know. But according to an August 9th um, news release from the U.S. Attorney's, um, Attorney's um, Office for the Southern District of Indiana, the 30-year-old um, the 30-year-old UPS worker received 15 months, and his 31-year-old co-conspirator received 54 months with an additional charge of aggravated identity theft. Um, they um, they have to pay retribution. So they have to pay. They have to pay. They have to pay. Um. So they have to pay restitution of two hundred forty-four million two hundred twenty-two thousand dollars. Um, or no, two hundred forty-four thousand two hundred twenty-two. Sorry. Space out. Yeah. So they got to pay two hundred forty-four thousand two hundred twenty-two um dollars and ninety-three cents. Investigators say the scheme took place from at least January of twenty nineteen up until December of twenty twenty, according to the release. Now, now of course, this um, this theft and fraud destabilizes the tr the people's trust in U P and U and um, the United States Post Office. Now, fraud schemes using stolen mail cause significant hardship to innocent victims and undermine trust in the vital government system. Um. Now, the um, McClatchy News could not immediately reach lawyers for the two defendants, but it, they did say that the second man is accused of recruiting the postal worker to help with the scheme that would use his ac that would use his access to the mail to steal the identities of residents in Indianapolis and Fishers, uh, which are both in um, Indiana. They obtained victims' sensitive information, prosecutors said, and could not, and they and they were able to use that information to control bank accounts in uh, in uh, in their names. Um, after the one postal worker gave the other guy victims information, the co-conspirator, the co-conspirator, called the banks and pretended to be the victims, the victim, or their, or the, um, or their family members to request new debit or credit card transactions, and to request new credit cards and anything like that. Then the two men stole the cards from the mail, according to the release. Now the defendants used the cards to withdraw cash and make personal purchases, according to the news release. But they stole checks from the mail and deposited them into the bank accounts that they controlled. Um, now, eventually, the victims began to realize what was happening. One person realized his mail was being stolen, and he installed security cameras, according to the criminal complaint the, com the criminal complaint filing for the defendant, who received a heavier sentence. Um, investigators said that they observed a man driving a black BMW steal the victim's mail. They said the same vehicle was caught in surveillance footage taken from, from Times that fraudulent ATM deposits and withdrawals look, um, took place, according to court documents. Now, Fifth Third Bank found one phone number was connected to 21 different individuals who had accounts created and their names are taken over, according to the criminal complaint. Now, the phone number was traced back to the defendant, who was later convicted on charges of identity theft. Now, now during, and then during a routine traffic stop in September of 2019, Officers found, among other things, false identification documents inside the defendant's wallet, several credit cards in the names of others, and merchandise that was confirmed purchased with fraudulently obtained credit cards. Now, these now these sen these sentences represent our commitment to working with our um, with our law enforcement um, partners to maintain the integrity and trust in the U.S. mail," said Scott Pierce, special agent in charge for the um, for the United States Post Office. Now, the majority of postal workers. A hard-working public servants dedicated to moving mail to its proper destination. Um, yeah, um, um, last week, a man was brutally attacked at, outside a Speedway gas station in Joliet, Illinois. A forty year old man a forty year old Joliet man, Jonathan Banks, faces charges after stabbing after a stabbing at a speedway gas station. Now according to Joliet police, officers responded to the scene on Jefferson Street around nine thirty six PM, where they found a twenty seven year old male victim with a multiple abdomen stab wound and a thirty six year old with a stab wound to his leg, and both injuries are, are determined to be um are to, are determined to be um non 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 threatening basically, so they're basically gonna live. Um but Banks allegedly initiated an argument in the station's parking lot, according um, producing a knife and attacking the victims. 
He was later apprehended near North Lurken Avenue. Now, the incident was prompted, has prompted community discussions on safety. Banks is in custody pending further investigation. Um, but you know how shit like that happens. Um, now, we have two women in Indiana heading to Hawaii to help out with the, um, with the wildfires in Hawaii. Um, in Maui, Hawaii, two Indiana um, women volunteering with the American Red Cross have been deployed to Hawaii to help those affected by the devastating wildfires that are still engulfing the island of Maui. Now, firefighters still continue to battle the blaze as entire homes and communities come to terms with the destruction of the um, island. Now, the wildfires are some of the deadliest in the U.S. in recent years, with Hawaii Governor Josh Green confirming 53 people have been killed so far. Um, the officials expect um, that number to likely rise. At the time the story came out, it was 53 people. I think it's up to 80-something or more than that. More than 270 structures have been damaged or destroyed, according, according to Maui um, County officials. Um, now, Cindy Cavalli of Bloomington and Susan Dietrich of, um, of Indianapolis will provide assistance to local residents who have been displaced by working at Red Cross shelters um, located in Maui and, and um and the pair of women will be providing emotional support, warm meals, and shelter alongside the fellow volunteers. Um, now, this this will not be the first time. Um, this this will um, this will not be the first time that the American Red Cross uh, um, deploy. Um, see, um, Dietrich has been deployed by Red Cross before, when she de when she traveled to Mississippi um, last year to help um, spring communities impacted by tornadoes. Um, now, the American Red Cross has provided more than 2,000 overnight shelter stays for victims of the fires, according to a nonprofit organization. Um, now, also, um, now, hip hop community is also mourning the loss of Atlanta rapper um, Dope Boy Ra, who was formerly known as Young Capone before he switched his name. On Tuesday, August 15, publicist Alicia Carter confirmed that her former client, um, Dope Boy Ra, who was born by Rodrigo Rod, um, Rodriguez Smith, had passed away. A cause of death has not yet has not yet been revealed, but the but the but the but the, um, but the rapper and producer um, but the rapper and producer was reportedly missing in Chicago since July before his death was announced by Carter and his friends like run, like Runway Richie. The Atlanta artist also took to his Instagram to eulogize his close friend and past collaborator. It's with a heavy heart that I'm even posting this, Alicia Carter had wrote. We made, tra we made, we made magic when we strategically put out projects always. Um, I hate to say this, but rest in peace, my, um, my killer, Richie, um, um, Richie wrote, and what we, and what they talked about, what what they talking about? We dropped a classic on these um dope on these dope rum. Now Smith got his start in the rap game as, as um when he started using the name rap Capone when he started using the name Young Capone in the early two thousands. Um, he dropped his song "It's Hot" featuring another rapper, Daz Yellinger, which also and he was also and he was also the intro voice for Jermaine Jermaine Dupri's song "Young Fly and Flashy" on Volume One in two thousand five. Um, after he was signed to So So Def rec um, record label, he delivered his other notable tracks like Lights, Camera, Action, and then he and then he dropped two mixtapes, Look Who's Back in 2010, and Paper and Politics in 2011. Before he and then after 2011, he decided to switch his name from um, Young Capone to Dope Boy Ra. The last thing to throw in is uh, is um, Rosalind Carter is celebrating a birthday today. Um, Rosalind Carter is the um, wife of Jimmy Carter. She's 96 today. And Jimmy Carter, if he lives until October, will be 99. And they're the longest married couple for people that were in politics before. Um, they've been married for 77 years and they're still married. Um, that is all the time I have for today um, on this channel. But um, but if you like the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. Um, you can also hit the notification bell so that you know when a new video comes out. Um, later on today, I'm going to be doing a live stream on my other YouTube channel, which is RBW King Reviews. 
um, that one is going to be talking about, um, hold on here. Um, we're going to, and, and on that channel of my live stream is going to be talking about the Connecticut witch trials, um, which is a, which is like a review and just basically history channel, basically where I talk about stuff that's happened over the years. Um, so you can join me on there if you're interested, um, and ask questions any, and always ask questions anyway. Um, and if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link if you want to, um, um, which you can find in the about section of the YouTube for just a little as a few bucks a video or a month. Your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.